Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Video Games, back with another cool arcade game. We are trying to get our selection up. We want to have basically videos of any decent game that we get in. We want to videotape. So you can see all the games that we have for sale at lionsarcade.com. This is kind of an interesting one today. This is Midway's Skins game, which is a golf game. It came out in 2000 and was kind of an alternative to Golden Tee and... Uh, was out before PGA Tour came out, um, which Global VR made. Um, and one of the reasons that it's interesting is because, in many ways, it's kind of a better game than Golden Tee, but it didn't. It wasn't really very successful. They brought it out. And like I said, I think it was '99 or 2000. Let's see what the copyright says. '99. I don't know if it, if it was uh, out yet or if that was just when they designed it, but. Um, they designed a whole new game board for this, uh, their, their uh, Midway Atlanta system. And then they released this game, and it had a like internet connectivity and things like that. And it only had three courses, but they were remakes of actual courses that exist. So uh, um, they were actually pretty cool. And the, different, the way that Midway approached it was, instead of using a trackball like most golf games do, they used one of these bat sticks. That's kind of an old school thing that was on a lot of the old like Cinematronics baseball games back in the, the day. It was made a little different, but you pull it back and there's springs that hold it. And if you uh, pull it to, the, to one side, you're going to hook it. And if you pull it to the other side, or hook it to this side and slice it to this side, you know. So you can aim it pretty cool and then you just let go and it swings the club. Which actually, if you think about it, is a little more like really swinging a golf club. So it was a little more... Uh, I don't know. Some people prefer golden tea, but it's, it's certainly a, this is a, a different way to do it that some people like better. Um, also, it had some interesting controls over here. It had the change camera angle, just like golden tea does. Um, had select club up and down. On golden tea, you did that with the trackball, and then you could turn left and right, which was similar to the controls on golden tea. And then it had two modes. It had extreme mode, and it had just a normal mode. So in extreme mode, you could do stuff like uh, make the uh, add top spin and back spin to the ball after it's in the air and things like that. And then another one of their interesting little additions was this keypad here. If you've ever seen like Rush 2049, that was also a midway game. They had this keypad on it so that you could save your statistics and stuff. So you put in like your phone number or whatever as your password. And then the game would remember all of your settings and what courses you'd beat and all that stuff and your, your best times um, because of that um, passcode. So this had the same thing on it. And so they did, uh, there's some secrets whenever you, depending on what number you put in, you can do secret things. There's only two that anybody's ever figured out, though. Um, this game was kind of abandoned early in its um, life because they didn't, uh, they never put out a, I think they put out one update, a tournament edition for it, but uh, it didn't do as good as they thought it was going to do, and they probably lost some money on it. So um, they didn't put out too many more updates. But two, the only two codes anybody's ever figured out is if you put nine one one, it gives you a mulligan, which is like a do over on your shot, you know. And there's a limited number of those, of course. And then the other one that people figured out is if you put in Jenny's phone number eight six seven five three zero nine, it asks you if you want to quit the game. So that's the only two codes anybody's ever figured out. But, of course, it also, you put in your own code and it saves your statistics and stuff. But if anybody else has ever figured out any hidden codes in the game, maybe reply to this video or something because there's a lot of people out there trying to figure it out. This game's pretty, people that know about it really like it. So it's kind of, it's a shame that they didn't uh, release any updates for it or anything. Um, but... This is it, Midway Skins game. I'll show you the side art a little bit. There's a dude on this side wearing the jorts. And then on this side, oh, same art. I thought there was a woman on one side, but that might be on the dedicated cabinet. So there you have it. I'll look over the instructions a little bit for you. It says, how to win skins. By winning the hole, ties carry over to the next hole. 
and by score under par. So eagle, you get four skins. Ace, you get three skins. Eagle, you get two skins, and birdie, one skin. Oh, the, to get uh, four skins, you do an eagle double. Plus, bonus skin for par or better. So, greeny, closest to the pin, onto the green on a drive. And sandy, out of the sand. And pondy, out of the water. And long drive, longest per hole, equals skins. All right, so down here, you got some directions. To swing, pull back and hold, then let go. Simple as that. Power shot, hit button to commit. I forgot to show you that. There's a power shot button which is also the start button. Power shot, hit button to commit. So when the power meter is going, it'll go back and forth across the screen and you try to stop it in the green. How to play. Select your club with the select club button. Change the camera button, changes the camera angles. Turn button, rotates the position of your golfer, which is very important on putting especially. And then wind meter. Wind conditions can affect your ball path. That's the three courses that they finished. You can see the graphics were better than all the Golden Tee stuff, even Golden Tee 4. But uh, it just didn't catch on as good. People didn't like the... Uh, I think casual players like the track ball better than this bat stick, but I've heard that people that actually play golf like this one, like the bat stick better. All right, wind meter. Wind conditions can affect your your ball path. Draw and fade. So it's just telling you, you know, you pull it back at an angle and it'll, you know, make the ball fly one way or the other. All right, so there we go. I will set up the tripod and we'll play a little bit so you can see what the skins game is all about. The way you get a quick shot is if you shoot uh, in less than 15 seconds, that's what it was saying. If I hit the change camera button, it'll go through some of the attract mode stuff, so that'd be kind of cool. There's actually six characters that you can pick in the game. Add power to your shop. Tap the button to commit. Time your release to stop the needle in the center. And I believe it's you can, it's not when you release it. It's when the bat gets all the way to the front because my timing was off whenever I was trying to do it. So you can pick extreme mode. You can control the ball after you shoot it. And then competitive mode's realistic. Score tracker in the top left. Player one is up. Current player and what stroke it is. Current hole. Where wind and lie conditions. And the distance to the pin. All right, let's do it. And we're going to do extreme mode, because why not? Who doesn't like to live extreme? Extreme mode. How many players? One player. And plus all of my YouTube friends. Enter your pin. So you can put in your phone number. Whatever. Who's it going to be? By the way, that was not my phone number. Don't try calling me. 
Let's be her. Who can resist that? Oh, did it move? There we go. <laughs> All right. Use controller to cycle through letters. Uh, let's not worry about that. All right, so we got Copperhead. We got the General. And we got Monument Course. Let's do Copperhead. And these are three real courses that have been recreated. Press start. Enjoys an international reputation for excellence and is on everybody's list of favorites. It is rated as one of America's top resort courses. Okay. Hole one is par five and 561 yards. All right, so over here you can see the map. You can see where the hole is. And so basically, and the wind, you need to pay attention to that. Basically, we're gonna go for broke 280 yards. And I'm gonna hit top, top spin. spin. how you make it move in the air though there's something you can do to make the oh with the the turning buttons we'll try that after this one and if you see whenever I pull the stick back it tells you how far it's gonna go so since I'm gonna overshoot it I'll try the backspin, backspin. oh it hit the tree a pro would have knew would have known that all right 100 yards We'll do the same thing though. We'll try the backspin. Quick shot spin. Oh, I think it I think it did that in the air. Going for the sandy. So maybe I should do the backspin. Uh, well, I don't know how you do that. Let's see here. All right. I'm going to overshoot it because I don't think it'll get out of the sand if I don't. Yep, that's the way it's done. <laughs> no comment. Kind of weird watching animated cartoon women. I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. All right. See the wind? It's blowing strong four that way. So I should probably turn a little bit. Oop, that's too far. Hmm, I don't know if it'll catch it that much. I'll just... Better hurry up. I better, okay. So the wind caught it a little bit. And I didn't get the full 280 yards, or I guess I did on the roll, because the wind... I was... Uh, swinging into the wind and I am again so I'm gonna try to go a little bit to the left up oh, in the sand not quite enough okay so 19 yards but I'm gonna overshoot it because I'm in the sand The green. Pretty good. The putting's a little confusing, but it's flat, it says. So, I'm just going to line it up. And there we go. They're calling it a sandy par because I landed in the sand and then still got par. All right, hole three. This one's kind of tricky. Let's see if I can go up over all that. What do you think? What do y'all think? I'm going to try the power shot. Here we go. I'm going to try to do it. Uh, In the rough. Decent, though, really. I mean, come on. Not that bad. When you hit the power shot button, it lets you, you know, it, power shot. It's pretty self-explanatory, I guess, right? All right. So, 42. Uh, uh. Back spin. <laughs> 
All right. It's, for the birdie. It breaks to the... Or, hmm. It's breaking my way, so I'm going to try it. I mean, yeah, towards the hole. Oh! Putting's the hardest part. This one for par. Quick shot. Barely. We'll try one more hole. All right. The wind is right in my face. So... I probably shouldn't have done the top spin in the air though because it in the sand. it looked like as soon as I did that it kind of took some of the heat off of it. I don't know why it says two times. Or I guess it, maybe they're saying, well, yeah, I don't know what that is. Quick shot. I'm good at finding the uh, the sand. Look, they're trying to get me to use an iron, but I'm on the green. Putter, please. Oh, it was telling me that it was breaking a little bit, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't correct for it. So you got to just barely pull back because if you hit it too hard, it'll roll over the hole. All right. Looks like our luck's running out. But there you have it. That is Midway's Skins game. You can see all the games we have at lionsarcade.com. By the time you see this video, this game may be gone, but maybe we'll have something else that interests you. Uh, and you can, uh, you, you can subscribe to us here on YouTube and check out all of our new videos. Or you can stop by and see us. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. And we've got a whole building here full of arcade games. And we get them in, fix them up, and then usually sell them to people for their home game room. So uh, we'll continue to film videos though whenever we get them in, and we'll see you next video.